just a video for my, I don't know, for whatever, of my main TV that I watch uh, TV on, like TV TV, I watch DVDs, VHS, and Beta, and if I get a, come on, if I get a laser disc, I'll hook it up into this too. Uh, I used to have a laser disc, but I traded it. But, um, yeah. It's a 1987 Panasonic Color Pilot. Stereo. It's got... Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It says right there in that red letter in the middle, DBX. I don't know if that what DBX really is, but it's got a lot of bass under this thing here. There's picture controls, channel setup, and, uh... Bass, treble, and balance settings. So yeah, if you if you listen to I listen to music videos like VHS tapes, old music videos, and it sounds really good for you know TV. Weighs a ton, but yeah. And then on top I have. Uh, let me see if I can zoom. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's got a new iPhone. I'm not used to using an iPhone. Or whatever, but a Zenith Hi-Fi Stereo VHS. I'm not sure what year it's from. Probably mid to late 80s. The whole, the whole side there, all those buttons flaps down. The tracking's behind that. And now there's little VU meters. You can see because the, the cable's hooked through it. It's going along with the... Keep still, you fucking... Yeah. I got, oh, the power must went out. The clock must blinking again. And that's my DVD player and the switch box. And that's the box... That's uh, plugged into my rooftop antenna. I've got like a cheap Chinese aerial on the roof that can rotate and then you get like four channels. And this summer I'm gonna put it up higher. I got Famicom. Got my top loader wired in finally. Uh, that one video I made when I got that, I was complaining that I had to pull this out, and I did have to pull it out. Couldn't do it with one hand. And uh, got it hooked in the plain narc. And then got my Super Nintendo hooked up to it through that little box there. Master Genesis isn't hooked up, uh, 64 isn't. Uh, my PS1 is somewhere else. That's the Commodore. My Atari computer is over here. And that's mess of wires. Those wires something up. But it, it goes into that TV. And it's a 2600 and television and Pelico. And if I ever get a working 5200, well, what the fuck are you guys doing up there? Hey kitties, say hi. <laughs> Got a bunch of game boxes up there. The Commodore 64 and the floppy drive, PlayStation. Oh, there's my PS1. Beside a Tandy color computer. I don't have a model to a Genesis, but I have a pretty minty box with it. Uh, the 64 box that I got. I got that at Value Village thrift store for 50 bucks, and it came with. It didn't have the game, but I had the machine and all the hookups and the controller and the jumper pack. And, it, and also in the box was uh, the the fantastic blue colored controller and the gray one. I sold those though; I didn't need them. So yeah, it's pretty good for fifty bucks. And then my challenge set—that's my NES right there. Goes to that box. And that Famicom I got for a hundred bucks, free shipping off eBay. That's its box up there. Mario Chess, some floppies. I got. I bought all those. <laughs> Those little, little arcade machines. I'm probably gonna have to open them one day though, because if I don't, the batteries will leak and destroy them. So, fuck. oh. Anyway, and then NES. There's a bunch of NES games on the floor. I was playing all my hard, my rare favorite ones. That's why there's a gap right there in the middle. But yeah, NES. Excuse the mess. The NES boxes. I think the Super Nintendo and 64, Atari, Clayco Vision, Sega's in the corner. Yeah. And some Nintendo Powers on there. And that that weird drawer bread basket thing is actually a Nintendo controller holder. Distilled water. I don't know why there's WD-40 over there. That's my two Famicom games. Uh, what's it called? Thexter and that Popeye English spelling game. Oh, it was three dollars. More floppies. And a kitty. Hey, say hi. Rambling. Bye.